Now, sapphire is a blue stone. It's true blue. No significant changes in cognition. With normal aging, however, you will have the person slowing down and having more difficulty learning and holding on to new things. Diamond. Diamonds are still clear, still sharp, but things are different. The diamond has lots of facets, but they're hard, rigid, and inflexible. So the signals that you may be moving from normal into something a little more involved is that they're telling you the same things over and over, asking you the same questions, denying that they've ever said that before, and they get rigid. The next level is an emerald. Now the main difference between a diamond and an emerald, color. And the color that we're looking at is green. But I'll also tell you, emeralds are more vague. They can't hang on to the details. They're just, they're struggling a little bit more. They're on the go, but they're going back in time and to other places. And they want to go, but they're not sure what to do. They're making mistakes. But a true emerald always has a flaw, but it's inside, and the emerald doesn't know that. What we want to do is support the emerald, realize that it's changing, it's different. They need that kind of structure in their life. It's not all about the routine and the habit. It's about the past and supporting where they are, going with that flow. Amber. Now, in a stoplight sequence, we went from a green light to the yellow. And the amber is all about caution. I will also say that amber, of all the gems, is the least stable and sturdy. It's the one that's not actually a mineral. It's formed when rosin runs out of a tree, something gets stuck on the rosin, more rosin runs over, and it gradually hardens up. And what it is, is something caught in a moment of time. And when we're talking about amber, what we're talking about, sensation. Sensory needs, sensory tolerance. These are people who are going to hunt and gather and touch and look and feel and smell and taste. These are people who are either going to like something or not like something. And they don't understand tasks anymore. It's all about how does it feel and do I like it. The next gem level is ruby. And in the stoplight sequence, we had green, we had yellow, and now we have red. And the ruby has hidden depths, but what the red indicates is stop. And what stops is fine motor. Fine motor in the mouth, fine motor in the eyes, fine motor in the fingers, and fine motor in the feet. So these are folks who still have the big movement, but once they get going, they can't change gears. Or they're still, and they have a really hard time getting going. So what stopped is that ability to shift. What becomes critically important is that we slow down and we change our expectations. People don't have that fine control, but they're still an amazing person. Realize what they still can do are things that are automatic, things that are rhythmic, things that come without having to process and think it through. The final gem, the pearl. Now, when you consider the pearl, I selected it because it's hidden inside a shell. And if you simply look at the shell, you go, oh, there can't be anything in, of value in there. Because an oyster shell from the outside is incredibly ugly. It's only when you open the shell and look inside that you see the amazing gem that we're talking about. And way too often as caregivers and as family members, what we end up doing is focusing on taking care of the shell. And we forget the most important thing is what's inside. I also selected the pearl because it's all ruled by reflexes. And by now, the disease is destroying a lot of the control that the brain used to have over the body and reflexes rule. That doesn't mean they aren't still there, but it does mean they are more isolated and away and it takes a lot of patience and a lot of intention to connect. And they can't do it all the time, but they are still quite capable of having moments of visual connection, verbal connection, and touch. But it all happens because of what you choose to do.